Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling Go and Sin No More. Uh, this was taken from, obviously, the um, story about the Jesus and the harlot. And I'll read a part of it. You can read all of it at John chapter 8. This is John 8, 11. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. Many in the world believe they are leading good lives and are their own gods by deciding for themselves what is right and what is wrong. That is what Satan said to Eve in the Garden of Eden. If you read Genesis 3, 1 to 4, as we read there, Satan said, you will be like God, knowing good and evil, deciding for yourself what you believe to be good or bad. Many nowadays do this disregarding what God said in scriptures what to avoid that is bad, not even lifting a finger to read God's holy word. Many believe in their hearts that they are good enough to go to heaven without even putting faith in Jesus Christ or even having a relationship with God and not even trying to repent or live a holy life without sinning and thinking after God, ignoring God all their lives, living as they please, that they're going to end up going to heaven when they die. Um, a God they ignored and never knew, never realising that the only way into heaven is through Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. No one can come to the Father only through Jesus Christ. John fourteen six. Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You must be born again to enter heaven. John 3.3 3. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So how can you be born again? By exercising faith in Jesus Christ and repenting and removing yourself from sin in all its forms. If you used to watch, for example, bad TV, listen to music with swear words and lyrics like that and films or games that are bad or with violence and things etc remove yourself from these things second corinthians five seventeen. therefore if anyone is in christ he is a new creation the old has passed away behold the new has come and john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So put faith in Jesus Christ and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and be baptised. Born in Spirit, Holy Spirit, and born of water, baptised. Acts two thirty eight. Peter replied, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So if you want to have a chance to enter heaven, you must exercise faith in Jesus Christ, live a holy life, and avoid sinning. Obviously you've got to endure to the end. Don't leave it until tomorrow, as there is... Only two destinations we'll end up going to after we die. It's either heaven with God or hell with Satan. Uh, Matthew twenty five thirty one to 34. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne and all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who have been blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. And verse 41. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And verse 46. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Imagine you were a tenant 
in someone's house and you were given a list of rules where the owner is building a much bigger, nicer place for you if you follow the rules that are given by the landlord. If you disregarded the rules and thought, I won't bother with this and do your own thing, do you really believe the owner of the house will let you to his new place, which he's building for you? No, he wouldn't. Likewise, would God let you into heaven if you disregarded his rules and, and did what you want? Uh, rules and uh, do things that are not in scripture and think at the end, will you enter heaven? Nothing unholy enters heaven. Revelation twenty one twenty seven. Nothing impure will ever enter uh, heaven, that is, nor will anyone who does not does what is shameful or deceitful, but only those whose names are written in the book of life. So is your name written in the book of life? Have you exercised faith in Jesus Christ and lived a pure and holy life, avoiding sin? Anyway, I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus yet, please do, as time is running out. God bless you all. Bye-bye.